So guys, today we are back for another video on the channel today. We've got the match review of the Newcastle vs Bournemouth game. 1-0 in the 92nd minute. Cook scored. Very disappointing, I guess. So in this video, we will be, we will be talking about the game, how it went, my player ratings, but I'm still very devastated about the result. But first thing we're going to do is talk about the game itself. So the game. First half, I thought we were bad. We definitely went bad. We did score an offside goal, which was very unfortunate, but to be fair, we did play okay in the first half. Um, we did score an offside goal, which now, looking at it back, wasn't offside. It wasn't offside, I've got to say. If he was offside, it was by his bloody fingernail he was offside by. But uh, I'm sure that um, Ryan's been running to his fingernail, but oh, still absolutely devastated. We went in, that's, in the second half, absolutely awful. Didn't do it, the ball, giving it away far too easy. And some players in the team, I'll go to the lineup now, I just thought they just not good enough. Players like Hosselu, he can't shoot. He, he does win, but he gets the ball and it down, but he doesn't do enough. Perez is far too lightweight, in my opinion. Just not good enough. Jiggle Murphy, not good enough. Mankilo, just we may as well actually just put him on the reserves. He's not good enough for the Premier League. He's just not good enough. Seriously, not good enough. But, the goal. Bach was flying in. Well, well, actually, I had Perez and someone else on him. But... I'm still absolutely devastated. Oh, if you didn't watch the match of vlog, go and check it out. There will be a link in the description, but I'm still absolutely devastated. The goal went in and I'm absolutely virgin. So now I'm gonna talk about the team lineup and the ratings for the team, I guess. So the team was Elliot in goal, Yedlin right back, Lascelles, Lejeune, Mankiru, Richie Hayden, Shelby, Atu, Gail and Hosselu. All Newcastle fans on the have always, always asked, can we have two up front? And we've got two up front, as you can see. Gail Hosselu went 4 4 2. But did it really work? Didn't obviously score. But to be fair, I'd much rather have Gail than Perez. But the team, right, um, I'll give Elliot out of 10 a 6. Made some good saves. Just didn't release the ball, I thought. What do I mean? Anyways, Yedlin, give him a five. I said he would score. He's very, very disappointing for him. Jamal Lascelles, obviously, I came up with an injury. I give him a six. Wasn't bad, wasn't great. He, when he went off, there was no talking in the defence at all. But when Clark came on, his replacement, I'll give him a six as well. He, did, he was not the best, but when he did not save off the save to hit the post, that was good. Lejeune, I give him a 7. My man of the match, in my opinion. My man of the match. I don't even know why I did that. My man of the match, but... My man of the match was Lejeune. He did get a yellow card, but he was winning a lot of balls. Made the defenders really scared, but... Um, give him a 7. Mankilo, give him a 4. Absolutely dreadful. One time, when... 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 Clark saved on the post. All I had to do was boot it out. He went ahead it. What an absolute idiot. Matt Ritchie, I give him a 6. I would have given him a seven, but the first, I mean, the second half performance. I know no one was good in the second half, but the second half performance wasn't good enough. Isaac Hayden, give him a five. He went missing. Honestly, God, I think he actually did go missing. Didn't know where he went. Shelby, give him a six. He did do some good tackles. He did put the FN in, right? but he's trying to release the ball. Like, he's trying to do long balls. Tricky balls, play simple. Atsu, give him a six, not really the best of games. He should maybe pass that man kilo so he could cross it in. He was trying to cross it in himself on his um, right foot. I don't know why he was trying to cross it in on his right foot. Because he was run down, cut and say, try to cross it in. Just cross it in first time, mate, if you're going to cross it in. Gail, give him a seven. I thought he was really good. Chase down defence, wanted to win the ball, but still wasn't good enough. Hosselu, I'll give him a four. I'll give him a four. Ball came to him, he was chesting it down. He, when he got subbed off, he knew he had a bad game. But when he got subbed off, 
that should be meat rule. No, you're bringing on a Yuzi Perez. He is far too lightweight for the Premier League. I'll put that there right now. Jago Murphy, four, well, he's four. He, Jago Murphy, give me three. Perez a four, Clark, I said Clark's written, but. Jago Murphy, I was like, oh yes, Jago Murphy, we're going to play him. We're going to play him calm or left mid and put that too calm. No, no, he's dreadful. Just, just put him on the bench, just leave him there. Don't bring him on. Now we'll have this right about Meat Rule. Meat Rule, if you're watching, mate. State Newcastle, which I think I, I think he will leave. But he should leave. Honest to God, if I was him, I would leave. If I, I don't get it, he scored last time he came on, like properly. And when he came on against Palace, big impact. When we, we need Moreno back from Manchester United. I'm going to put this now. If we don't have Mick Moreno against Manchester United, I feel like we will lose. But I'm going to look at Bournemouth now. Um, King was quite good. Um, Ayi was quite good. Ayi was quite good. Daniels, I thought, was really good. Coop was obviously good because he scored. But apart from that, I've got now now as video to say. If you didn't watch the match day vlog, there will be a link in the description. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on it. Um, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Please like, come subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Goodbye.